Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wrestling Mayhem Show 509 Tuesdays. We've been doing this. We're talking professional wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron in the Mayhem Studio in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to rock this with you guys. I got an all-star cast here. First of all, we're going all the way to ground zero of Super Tuesday. It is Eamon Payton, the voice of Inspire Wrestling. He's doing wacky wavy arms for some damn reason. He's in San Antonio, Texas. How what and we did, and we already did the political jokes over on Mayhem Show Gold. You go to patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show to get all those. How's it going, Eamon? Something something politics, something something to see from the union. Hello, this is you made for Texas. What am I doing? I don't know. It sounded like you said Paul Dick. Um. <laughs> that that right there, making the puns, is Mad Mike up in Poughkeepsie, New York. I saw it. Center of the universe. It's been a super Tuesday so far. <laughs> I'm sure it has, with capes and everything. Also with us from Johnstown, PA, we don't matter on Super Tuesday. Sorry, no, Bobby. But, however, yes. for the second year out of two years, somebody in Johnstown, it wasn't flood related, they ran a car into the Dollar Tree for the second year in a row. Wait, like on Super Tuesday for the second year in a row? No, I thought it was a memory that came up. No, it was another person running in their car in a dollar store. Oh, they, <laughs> what's the lesson from this? Dollar trees are not fruit markets, old people. <laughs> okay, right. lesson from Bobby F. Town: Run your cars in the fruit markets. That's where they're supposed to go. I guess. What? Uh, okay. No, I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, or shopping malls, but only if you're a mis- on a mission from God. Other than those little bits of uh, of uh, helpful Fuck. information, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check us out over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, that fun site where you can find the orange-suited Shane McMahon and so much more great articles by our friend in the mainstream media, Matt Carlins, uh, over there. Uh, you can subscribe to the show on the iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, YouTube, Facebook, Facebook. We got the videos on Facebook as well. Uh, Indie Mayhem Show, Raw Rap. Ups, midweek wars, is somebody like doing dishes over there? What's happening? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can also join us live dot wrestling mayhem show dot com and click even just click on the link right over there and uh, you can join us in the chat room with the live stream and uh, become part of the mayhem and and freaking out because we've it's taken us about forty five minutes to actually start talking about wrestling tonight, but sometimes. Mm-hmm. Schedules get a little wonky, time zones and whatnot, and you can become part of that too. Thank you to our Patreon uh, subscribers, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Uh, another great month. You guys are supporting the show, and we really do appreciate it. Click the linky link over at wrestling mayhem show.com. Thank you to our supporters at like, like the wrestling revolution.com. Our man, Tonio Garza, over there, one of the OG original followers of us on patreon and of course Bo Diggity! Woo! thank you so 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 much and uh the site the page changed and i can't find where the supporters are oh no, no that's who we support um we have a design change and i don't know where everybody's at ed burke is another name i remember that is a <laughs> contributor as well as the matt and jennifer carlin's uh foundation for podcast betterment thank you so much for supporting the show you got something very special and political uh going to be in your mailboxes this week for this um jesus uh uh-huh amen amen let's just know by the way how it really is spoil super tuesday we spoil super tuesday spoil the whole thing yep spoilers spoilers uh and, and 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 so much more and uh, is that all the things? Oh, hey, you can drop us a line. You can contact with us to our face pieces directly, 412-206-WMS0. Somebody chimed in this week about Mayhem Mania, and we appreciate that. Also, good times. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com is the email address. And let us know your thoughts on wrestling for the week. If there's any discussions you want to be a part of, any thoughts, anything like that, anything, any thoughts about the show, about Mayhem Mania and how it's going, um, they're talking politic politics over in slack right now oh no here we go um anyways 
this could be a rough night, Sork. I don't think you guys realize the alignment of some of the people in the Slack. Um, I oh, I think I know. I, I know neutral yeah, good. Some of the people. It can neutral good. What's Lawful neutral good. Everybody's neutral Lawful good. Evil. Everybody's neutral good in the in the Slack. Please, please be neutral good. Um, let's get into no. it. Let's get into our first topic We're of the have week. To reboot the Slack, Sork. Reroll. <laughs> Reroll the Slack. <laughs> I didn't bring enough dice. Um, so uh, we had an interesting week. As it seemed like it seemed like we forgot WrestleMania was coming, and and once again, it feels like. Um, um, first of all, I've had a couple of determinations. Maybe this will be partial topic for later on in the Mayhem show uh, uh, when we record that on on one hundred and nine. Um, and uh, but but you can't book an indie show anymore and not have the WWE f with you. Yeah, I'm noticing. Uh, as is my case, because hey, guys, did you know we have a pay per view this month? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, mean, I like to call them pop up pay per views. Pop up pay per views, apparently. Pop up pay per view. I mean, <laughs> all right. So um, we're, we're watching, and and we're like, I'm like, oh, cool. They're setting up for Dean Ambrose versus Triple H. Okay, I guess we're going to have a very special edition of Raw uh, coming up, maybe next week, or maybe maybe you know, hey, in Pittsburgh in two weeks when they're here, right? Um, no, no, we have a WWE Roadblock. Appropri- appropriately named. <laughs> Immediately after Fastlane. For indie shows. Oh, oh, Roadblock. Oh, boy. Uh, and there it is. Uh, Dean Ambrose versus Triple H. I'm sure other matches to be announced is going to be in Toronto. Brock Lesnar's going to be there. Brock Lesnar's going to be there? They confirmed that. Okay. All right. That's, that's when it was called March to WrestleMania. Oh, so they officially changed their yeah, name. Changed the yeah, I thought we were just fucking around with the WCW wrestler named Roadblock. No, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> the official name is Roadblock. No. The, the Slack ah. became very confusing to you, wasn't it? Oh, well, I was at work this morning, so I was only half reading. But Wasn't that a, a Transformer, a G.I. Joe character? It oh, is probably. also a tra- No, <laughs> oh, no. I think it's both. the fucking Rock. It's the Rock, yeah. Oh, it's it the, is. The Rock's going to be a Roadblock, everyone. <laughs> That's confirmed the rock at roadblock i i, I just want to i hope wwe just makes a trend of renaming all their pay-per-views like like driving themed i can't wait for wwe skid mark wwe that, run of this prime you know what they should just name every pay-per-view after a gi joe character or go. transformer is that balls they, have, they could have a yearly one vegas oh, called man. snake eyes wwe devastator Snake Eyes, Snake Eyes will be like that uh, fully loaded pay per view where the theme was dice. Yeah. <laughs> Reroll. The women's show. The, the, the women's show will be uh, WWE Baroness. Oh. <laughs> yes. Hey, anything with the Baroness, man. Uh, what would WWE Serpentor be? Uh, that's when Randy yeah. Orton comes back. No. Oh. Oh, I like then that. we'll get into like He-Man, that. guys. WWE Manny Faces. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when Mick Foley comes back. Yeah. Boom! Uh, Alright, let's move on. Other than that. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, Manny Faces is when Big Show gets his power. <laughs> WWE Moss Man. <laughs> <laughs> Traegar saying Destromania, which I'm all for. <laughs> I'm all for Destromania. <laughs> If it's really bad, you can just call it WWE Skunkor. I swear we're going to have a conversation other than making fun of WWE names for this segment. But um, no, um, just keep going. Let's just keep, keep going. going. Just, just keep going. Just keep going. Yeah, no, that's the theme of the night. Um, uh, but no, what do you think about this? I mean, we we have another special event. It's a Saturday. I feel like we've been building to this. I guess. Um, yeah. I mean, we certainly haven't been building to WrestleMania. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, We've seen kind of the experimentation. We had the, the 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 Madison Square Garden show, which was just live at Madison Square Garden, I guess. Uh, we've had the 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 Tokyo Dome shows. Um, of course, NXT has been Wednesdays. They've been um, in the middle of the day Wednesday in London. They've been um, um, Saturday nights uh, leading into SummerSlam, for instance. Once again, right on top of my indie shows that I have to work. Um, you know, which which I think I, I I don't I don't think this is is in our conversation again i don't think it's gonna really affect you know um these aren't wrestlemania you know mm-hmm. it's not like you're putting an indie show on top of wrestlemania it's wwe road back block it's it's the it's the the insurrection of of wwe pay-per-views right um you know how much this matters is probably negligible you know um but i think it really does speak to uh the flexibility 
of the network at this point, right? Um, you know, I'm noticing more ads coming up on NXT, for instance. Like NXT is getting ad spots of "Hey, brought to you by da 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 da," which really was was weird for me this past week, right? Um, um, I, I mean, I, I I just think it's a very interesting point for for WWE Network to to to, to be at this this stage. What, what do you guys think? Well, they are two years into it, so if they haven't, right. like, this is kind of what we wanted. I mean, am I wrong? Like, this is we want more original stuff for WWE Network. And yeah, specials like this, there are surprises. Like when they had that Elimination Chamber thing, that was like, oh, look at this. I mean, mm-hmm. kind of fucked Damon in the ass, but still, it <laughs> Sorry, was exciting. Damon. No, I, I mean, it did fine. Also, um, no offense. Damon. No, no, it's fine. Um, I, I, to a degree, I like the idea of more pay-per-views because it allows for um, stories to be told more quickly. Uh, in certain cases, like they don't really always have to fill four weeks and technically like eight shows if you count SmackDown with like storyline. Um, so for that aspect, I like it. I just don't know the logic of putting one right between Fastlane and WrestleMania. Well, we, we didn't have a pay-per-view in March. Yeah. So, I mean, this it, is our pay-per-view in March now. It's 42 yeah, but we, days. But, yeah, we're still getting two in, but we're still getting two in April. Listen, listen. Obviously, yeah. we don't have enough time to tell the proper story and build to WrestleMania with five hours of television every week. So we need an extra pay-per-view. This, this is basically WWE being like, we didn't do a good job at Fastlane of building anything to Mania. So let's well, let's try it again. I think it's also... Roman clearly needs some kind of surgery. That's why he's out right now. Mm-hmm. You have Triple H, you have Brock Lesnar, you have The Undertaker, and you have Shane McMahon. Those are all four guys that cannot wrestle week to week. So we have a whole bunch of other undercard stories that we have to push forward, but they're not strong enough stories to last 42 days. So if we blow off like New Day versus Y2AJ at this special, Okay, there you go, and then you can move on from new. You can have New Day move on from there to maybe Enzo and Cass, mm-hmm. or Kevin Owens is feuding with the Big Show. That is clearly not a WrestleMania match. Hopefully, Amen. That is clearly not a WrestleMania match. No. Whether or not it ends up on the card is clearly not a WrestleMania. Yeah, match. I'm gonna say. I, I think they're going multi ball with that one. I think it's going to be another multi man match. God, why? Bill, just, uh, sorry, just to get I, somebody on the on the on the show, like I'd, on ra- the show. I'd rather see a multi man match for the US style with Kalisto in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just like get all the crazy guys in there, like Kalisto and Neville and I don't know, fucking Heath Slater. Like just, just throw <laughs> random guys in the US style match. Yeah, it, it just I just wish they would build actual feuds That's going to Mania. Make it mean something. Um but yeah, it's I don't know. Um I hopefully they'll actually do stuff on this show because at the most part these like special shows are good but they're never done a lot of them uh, uh, the, like maybe they'll have one thing that'll be major or one thing that'll lead to something going forward but not all the time like i think you know for elimination chamber they had kevin owens being john cena when they did the tokyo show it's finn balor winning the nxt title like you know but it's only usually only that one that one thing you know, but it's also like those other shows were just billed mainly as house shows, with the exception of Elimination Chamber. Yeah, like like the Tokyo show was just a house show from Tokyo that happened to have Brock Lesnar on it. The MSG show was just a house show from MSG that they felt like taping and broadcasting live. This they've given a name like Roadblock, and there's a WWE title match where a bunch of different things could happen. Fastlane didn't even have a WWE title match. This Fair. is true. <laughs> <laughs> but Fastlane is such an important pay-per-view. Wow. That, that, yeah, well, how about that thing. statement? Wow. Like, cause, I mean, That's uh, what they said. Well, there's not on a lot of them. Uh, Fastlane is still carried on pay-per-view channels, right? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. somewhere you could buy it. I don't know who anymore. Um, I don't think any of the dishes or, or anything like that. But like people Comcast. People with bad Wi-Fi. Oh, it's, people with bad Wi-Fi. Well, yeah, exactly. Which, I mean, literally, my dad is on DirecTV and has satellite internet he's not getting the wwe network right mm-hmm. he has to have an outlet for this if he's a wrestling fan right um and and uh, yeah no no I, I i i there's definitely a cause for this 
And to that, I, I, I think it's sad that like Dish Network or whoever, I, I don't know if they still do or not, but they have, have rescinded WWE um, pay-per-views because now this just an entire audience that, you know, a not insignificant audience now doesn't have access to watch their wrestling. You know, much like, much like back in the day, guys, in my day, when I didn't have cable and, and I couldn't watch WWE Raw every week and I gave up on it. That's what's gonna happen, man. That's what's gonna happen. Um, uh, the internet is the new is the new cable that's leaving people behind. So, but that's that's actually a discussion for another show, I think. So, well, all right, WWE Roadblock coming up. I think it'll be interesting. Um, I'll watch it about three in the morning or Sunday morning since I'm working <laughs> IWC's fifteenth anniversary show um, that night. Uh, hanging, you know, Cole Cabana. And How's it feel, Sork? How's it feel? How's it feel, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but it's not happening in the same state. Trey right? Traegar actually makes a really good That's point fair. in the chat room. Hmm. Uh, Traegar is saying perhaps they're using Roadblock the way they did Saturday Night's May event back in the day. Oh, I mm-hmm. think absolutely. And. Yeah, that makes the most sense to me. What I what I say last night, it's the SummerSlam Spectacular yeah. special <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from USA Network back in the day, uh, which I watched. Uh, I had the fortune to tape a couple of them at my grandma's place, and I just watched the heck out of them, and then realized and real what I what, what, the one year I watched it, and I realized it was like the SummerSlam '92 that everybody that won on like and they were all jobber matches, right? But mm-hmm. everybody that won on SummerSlam Spectacular one on the pay-per-view like <laughs> it was like one to one or something like everybody it, it was weird it was weird when I, I noticed that at a young young age i think that's when i first started figuring it out anyways you know so, what sort sort do you want a bold prediction for uh roadblock well it's it's next week or it's in two weeks we we got a. Uh, you want to do it now really why not okay you, what's your bold? you want bold prediction sword you've been telling me to make my predictions bold I don't remember telling you that, but go ahead. <laughs> no, trust me, you said it. So kind of a lot of alcohol you, one night. Even if I had funny. a fever dream, you said it. Um, Dean Ambrose <laughs> wins the title, and it turns Roman Reigns heel because he's mad at his buddy. Bold prediction, wishful thinking, whatever the case may be. <laughs> no, bold prediction, because Roman Reigns' face is not working. Right, right. All right. Yeah, maybe we'll get into it later, but yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Uh, you know, uh, one thing, uh, my segue is screwed up now. I don't know where I'm at with it. You know what I do know? What do you like, Sorg? <laughs> God. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like pizza. And I like our friends here at Slice on Broadway, right down on the tracks here in Beachview. I know a lot of you aren't in Beachview, but you're going to hear about it anyways. Slice on Broadway. <laughs> you should stop down. Say hi. Eventually, we'll put a seat out for you. If you're in the area, want to view the view the mayhem, let us know, and we'll give you the secret address and, and passcode in order to get into the studio. Uh, but also, you can partake in some slice on Broadway, supporting uh, Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for uh, uh, nearly nearly two years now. Uh, Rico and the guys uh, and girls and girls, they're an equal either an equal opportunity pizza parlor. Noted, uh, but. The greatest stuff, uh, we, you guys noticed we had a little extra podcast here before the Mayhem Show, if you join us here live. A very different tone, uh, but he said it was the best stuff he's had. Uh, try the gourmet pizzas, great stuff. Uh, down in Carnegie, PA, or here in Beachview in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, sliceonbroadway.com. Even if you're not around the area yet, let them know uh, you wish you were on, on the Twitters, on PGH underscore Slice, uh, or Slice on Broadway on Facebook, or on the uh, Instagrams. And let them know you heard about them on the Wrestling Mayhem Show and on the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. All right, guys, let's get serious for a moment. I thought you were gonna say physical. I was like, "There's <laughs> Olivia Newton-John at." Wow, <laughs> wow. Uh, our second topic that I misplaced. Damn it! <laughs> I thought it, I, you 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 had something to say, Sorg, about something. I think social media. Oh, I'm pissed. I'm pissed at social media. <laughs> Zorg, Zorg, Zorg knows now. <laughs> this started on May, on, the, on the Raw wrap-up last night. Mike, you already heard my wrath a little bit. But I want to get bigger into this topic. I can't follow my wrestling. Because I'm not on, the, on all the places. And I'm realizing WWE is too big, man. 
It's too big. I've talked about this. You know, I you know, I, I guess I kind of defend Raw when we're sitting there on the wrap ups on Monday nights, right? Um, and you know this firsthand. What do I say? What do I usually say? Raw is for the the person that that the casual fan, right? That yeah. tunes in. The, the Raw is the thing they're going to tune into, right? You know, mm-hmm. and, and 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 they're not making that show for the person for the insane people like this foursome. Uh, and all you guys in the chat room, and probably most of you guys listening, that will sit there for three hours on Monday night and absorb wherever the hell they're putting at us, right? Um, that's that's the right motion right there. Um, uh, you know, but on top of that, listen, I made the commitment. We do a show about it. I'm going to watch your program. We, we do more than one show about it. Sorry. But, well, maybe a couple. But when you promise me a Rusev special announcement, and I see the headline, and I say, "Well, I'm not going to click on that because it sounds like, you know, the you know his announcement coming up tonight, right? It sounds like a little spoiler, a dirt sheet crap, right? Turns out I should have clicked on it because it wasn't addressed on Raw. Period. Nope. What if Rusev's my favorite wrestler? I, I wonder. What if I'm re- anybody? Wait, wait, what do you mean, what if? <laughs> <laughs> He's a TV champion. Come on. <laughs> what if? What if Rusev is like, well, gee, that's something for me to hang on to. You know? Is that that's why a- they got new monitors so they can turn Rusev's monitor into a belt? Maybe. It's just, sorry. It's just, sorry, complete sidetrack, Sorry. Go on. Continue Rusev's the new it's just, it's just, Rusev's it's a new crane. I was going to say, new no, it's just, it's just a giant TV monitor with like a just a... Uh, old rope around it just <laughs> but he th- throws it over his shoulders but the thing that might have entertained me you know rusev doing things um wasn't even on raw it was on social nope. media there's the youtubes there's the wb networks there's all this stuff now i gotta go go watch roadblock for 9.99 um <laughs> there's there's so much stuff that happens on WWE.com. I mean, how many times have we said, um, oh, why aren't they doing what, what, you know, you think Stardust is jobber to the stars if you just watch Raw every week, yet he's having competitive matches on Superstars. He's having that moment over on Superstars, okay? That is the thing that I watch three times if I leave the TV on WWE Network on Friday nights, okay? And fall asleep to it. And then I just watch random parts of Superstars because that's what I keep walking. I keep waking up to every replay at a different spot. Yeah! <laughs> also, that fucking John Cena special this past weekend was pissing me off, too. It was great the first time. But then I kept like tuning in at the exact same part where he's signing the photos like three times throughout the weekend. And just like it's just like cable. Sorry. It's just like cable. Sorry. It's just like cable! So you know you can you can restart that. Whole point is, Mike, <laughs> that Sorg wants to watch things happen. Um, and Sorg, they happen. Sorg, I I have another point about your social media thing that's not going to make you happy. Oh no. Um. So I'm on Snapchat because because I'm a millennial, and uh, I follow he, WWE on Snapchat because he's a dude and he's on yeah. Snapchat. Yeah. yeah. Draw your um, conclusions. The WWE Snapchat is normally god awful, but tonight, tonight it's big tonight. Like I should check right this now. Out. Like, oh. It is Biggie's birthday. Oh God! <laughs> so oh, no. the new day has taken over the WWE Snapchat. Where's my and USB? We got Snapchat see now. Yeah, and <laughs> they go. they have been doing various things with. Uh, for, for those of you who aren't on Snapchat, there's a thing. Where you can tap your face and you can make your face do weird things. Uh, uh, Renee uh, Young on Instagram switched her face with R Truth, uh, which is all kinds of awkward. Yeah, R Truth dropped an F bomb. All kinds of awkward. Um, I never want to see Renee Young in blackface before, uh, but apparently that's a thing technically. Wow. Uh, actually, Katie was here tonight. If you follow Dutters on Twitter. Um, and just Dutters is her username. Actually, you can look her up right now. If, if I don't believe time. that's her username, I believe it's Dudsy. Oh, I thought it was. Wait, she might have changed it then. Yeah, it's okay. I, I got you covered, Sork. But uh, anyway, but if you follow so her, on, the WWE on Snapchat. Um, but, but no, she was. But, but I'm, I'm saying that she was doing that. Um, she was doing the face swap thing. She's yeah, doing face swap thing with Gonzo and Roman Reigns. Everyone follow her on Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. And they're puking right there. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, there it is. That's that's strange. That's strange. That's that's actually yeah. a WWE cup. And is that is that the there's a, a Sergeant Slaughter, Slaughter mixed with mixed with Katie. Um, yes. So so but, they're they're doing this. But on WWE's, um, let's just say Biggie Langston, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods are uh, using the unicorn filter <laughs> to great great success. Uh, it's just them dancing dressed as unicorns. And I believe Kofi, Kofi was trying to sing happy birthday in the voice of a goat. Because oh, I wow. think that's how he thinks unicorns sound. Oh no. Yep. Like that. We promise we're going to talk about wrestling tonight. So at some point. <laughs> this is wrestling related. <laughs> it's wrestling related. <laughs> Wow, it's this wrestling is wrestling. Is, it's wrestling. It, it is. Is how are how are wrestlers using social media, and how is WWE using social media? Uh, like, again, Biggie, if you, Biggie as a unicorn on Snapchat literally made me laugh out loud. Here, sure. Here's the thing: everything that you and, see. And again, why is this a thing? Sorg needs to be angry about. No, because Sorg. I'm missing stuff. Because I just want to watch my wrestling like a good old boy. Sorg, <laughs> why don't you boy. why don't you send them a towel to complain about it? <laughs> You know, all you gotta do is all you gotta do, Sorg, is make a post to WWE on Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how Etsy works. Sorg, Sorg, no, Sorg. What you have to do is so you have to cool. find you have to find Vince McMahon on LinkedIn and do not endorse his skills for social media. Then you then you sew them a quilt and sell it on Etsy. I'm, da- I'm downloading buys it. I'm downloading. Now, Cal. once you get to the Big E photo, uh, you have to swipe right. And <laughs> that will send a smoke signal to Stanford. <laughs> this segment was brought to you by millennials. It's like the WWE's <laughs> Rube Goldberg machine. Only we're going to call it the Bill Goldberg machine. I'm so glad I have you. <laughs> Spear Jackhammer. <laughs> Spear Jackhammer. Bowling ball rolls down the thing. Spoiler alert. Goldberg is a smoke screen when he inhales that toxic smoke from the fireworks. And when he runs out of steam, he just becomes Ryback. <laughs> and we're back! <laughs> and, and full circle. Um, full circle university. <laughs> Jesus. Time is a flat circle. Do, okay, yes. so either way, you're watching The New Day, you're watching well, Rusev, apparently, and Lana, the, definitely Lana in this case. You're watching our Monday Night Raw, superstars, whatever the case may be. It's the very much the tip of the iceberg, especially these ones that are doing it right, especially ones that you can be a fan of, like the New Day, right? Right? Mm-hmm. You, you guys following me on this? So, yes. um, so I guess I need to encourage the idea more. Um, that follow New Day on everything. First of all, you should follow the New Day individually on whatever social media platform. You should start using certain social media platforms. Because Pinterest, uh, Pinterest. no, WWE yeah. <laughs> is it does have a presence on Pinterest. By the way, I don't know if you've ever looked at it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> have you looked at this? No, I have not. I'm Hold scared. On, I'll, I'll see if I can pull this up. Um, well, it, it gets weird. It gets a little weird because you start with just like like um uh, like I went down this this rabbit hole one time because you're like oh there's pictures of everybody and there's divas and then you follow like start clicking on like maybe AJ Lee pictures right. And then, like, you get to the people that are posting pictures about AJ Lee, but they're awkwardly just like pictures of her butt hanging out, and and like like weird candidates of of her butt. And so it's basically Tumblr. Well, yeah, yeah, basically. Although I gotta say, I'm on the WWE Tough Enough. Or, yeah, I'm on the WWE uh, Pinterest page, and I'm noticing that Tough Enough still has a very big presence on here. So maybe they haven't really been rolling with this uh, that's the tough enough on geo cities oh yeah exactly and angel fire oh WWE slam city that's 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 good too <laughs> that's good too oh there you go beach beach ready and there's uh there's a lot of bikini stuff going on there um um yeah i don't know i i i don't know i actually follow all of these it seems you can only get there through netscape navigator bobby or through geo cities Bobby, sign it, sign it. When I don't know, I can't remember what part of it. So we're talking about. Well, are we going to talk about Wave of Mania? About what? Wait, what? Oh, the thing, the, the penguins. Yeah, yeah. There, 
the, the how WWE Studio this is nothing to do with social media, but WWE Studio is partnering with uh, uh what's the movie called? Dreamers. Oh, Surfs Up Two. Sir, they're Back making a here. Surfs Up Two, the WWE thing. Wave of Mania. What? If, what? if Jerry Lawler is not an Emperor Penguin, they have triple. They up. they released the 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 promotional uh, image of it. With Vince, Triple H, John Cena, The Undertaker, and and Paige as penguins. Triple H is a giant penguin. Mm-hmm. The Undertaker is a penguin in a hat. With a casket. This is, um, okay. Why? Okay, is this going to, is this straight to video, or it has to be straight uh, to video? I would assume. It's this is a very morbid to be children's video. movie if that penguin has a casket. I love that they went from Scooby Doo and the Flintstones to Surfs Up to. <laughs> yeah, seriously, what? Why did we like skip over He Man? I mean, come on. There's so many or, uh, WWE Orca, Orca, not Orca. Orca's a whale. Hey, what? tie in Orca's a whale that eats penguins. <laughs> God. Uh, that, that's when we bring in the Undertaker's cast. I'm sorry. I'm still. I'm. I'm. I'm still digesting this. I'm. I, I'm still. I'm looking at these pictures, and I. I must say, I'm. I'm. I'm looking at these pictures. I'm. I'll scroll for you guys on video. Um, that page design. What the hell? Um, <laughs> yeah. Seriously, she doesn't look like she owns anyone's house. No. And there's no. And there's, this is my glue. If that joke's not made in the movie, then then they. Can and then there's. They fail. And what's the? And then where the? The voice, cr- voice, they voice a crew called the Hang Five. They should have at least made Kalisto, and then you kind of a penguin and a lucha mask. I don't understand. Okay, so we're taking such a niche cartoon about penguins being on the beach <laughs> and making it even more niche. I would have rather seen Madagascar three. Roll 34, somebody's into that. So not only are we going to have to buy that there is this mythical world where penguins somehow made it in a beach setting, but now that wrestling penguins made it on a beach setting. <laughs> hey, uh, Eamon, let's be fair. If Lucha Underground can make us believe that there's a giant oh, cage please. monster. Yeah. Oh, please. No, 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 I'm serious. I'm serious. Hear me out. Robert Rodriguez. I want Robert Rodriguez to direct Surfs Up too. <laughs> me too. I want that too, Eamon. More than oh, you could. Have. I really hope Legends of the Hidden Temple is a backdoor pilot movie for Lucha Underground. Let's be fair about this. Because <laughs> you know that's a movie, right? They're making a Legends hey. of the Hidden Temple movie. Mm-hmm. Wow. I want Dario Cueto to start in, to star in it. And for Olmec to turn into Matanza somehow. I don't know how that happens, but I think we need it to. Cobra Moon can be one of the Silver Snakes. Guys, I want to be. Com- guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'll probably end up buying the movie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And sold. Surf's Up Sword. Hang ten. I've never, even, I've never even seen Surf's Up One. I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> with the under, with the, so the Undertaker is actually going to voice this one and not be like a character that grunts so they don't have to use I it. don't know if they're oh, voicing it. Well, Taker was in the Flintstones one, wasn't he? Triple H is voice. Wait, no, they, they didn't voice the Flintstones I they, one. Uh, I remember. Well, not, not Taker. Like, they, there were characters in there that they just didn't have voices because they didn't really yeah. say anything. Um, oh. Right. You can tell I didn't see the Flintstones one. Mike, well, when, Mike, no, what? I'm trying to think because I saw the Scooby-Doo one. Mike, yeah, I said Carter was... Sin Cara was in that one. He didn't have a voice. Yeah, and then they made him a mute. <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. Sin Cara, Sin Cara in, uh, to me, Sin Cara's origin in Scooby-Doo WrestleMania um, is, can- canon. is canon. It's, it's yeah. canon to me. So, and, and I get pissed whenever something, like when he talked, like it was like a year ago, he talked or something, right? And he was speaking English. I was like, oh, that's bullshit. I'm called bullshit <laughs> on that. Scooby movie told me how it was. And you cannot do this to me. No, WWE. Sorg, see, see what happens, Sorg, is what they didn't show is the SmackDown Christmas. Sin Cara actually asked Santa, uh, Kalisto asked Sin Cara for, uh, Kalista asked Santa for Sin Cara to have a voice. Keep it together. No. Keep it together. You know what it is? Somebody's going to pull, somebody's gonna pull Runico's mask off and he's going to be like, I would have got away with, with it too if it wasn't for your kids. 
kids. Uh, and scene. And scene. That's going to be the payoff to the R2 gold. That's the other, places, <laughs> other places where we do not have Scooby-Doo. We do not have Flintstones. Certainly, we do not have a budget for animated features of any kind. But we do have the most animated people on the planet. And Virgil. IndieWrestling.us <laughs> What a segue. Wow. That's a sell if I've ever heard one. <laughs> IndieWrestling.us All those things are true about this site. Uh, we represent the International Wrestling Cartel, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, Vicious Outcast Wrestling, Border City Wrestling, and and a few other ones in there too, as well as Legends of the Legend of Virgil and his traveling merchandise table, where yes, I sat down in the living room with Virgil in his living room with Joe Dabrowski and had a conversation. Uh, a lot of fun. Refereeing 101 with Jimmy Corderas. We actually talked with Jimmy Corderas. That's going to be on Indie Mayhem Show episode 109. Um, former WWE referee Jimmy Corderas. Referee the main event of WrestleMania Jimmy Corderas. Uh, you can pick that up. You can listen to our interview over on the show. That will also be posted on IndieWrestling.us. Dalton, Cra- Dalton Castle He's an important guy these days. Everybody's talking about him. We have the best of Dalton Castle. DVD, digital download. You can get it right now over there. And also around the Indies. If you want to see what the alternative is, I mean, we, we had a pretty interesting conversation about WWE here. And there are other alternatives on your television. But there's ones. Uh, these are the stars of tomorrow. Sometimes the stars of yesterday. Sometimes the stars of about 15 years ago. Uh, they're here. And you can check out the best of the best over on Around the Indies. Get 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 your finger on the pulse or some other body part of the indie professional wrestling scene. Thanks to our friend Matt Carlin's Mainstream Matt. Uh, uh, pulling it together visually. Seeing this. Like, like this. This insane. Look at this. Is this Omega Wrestling I'm looking at here, this picture? Um, they have th- Is this 4,000 people I'm seeing in this? Uh, it's freaking amazing. And scenes from even, um, you know, uh, everything from around social media uh video spots it's not just here's what happened here's here's a wrestler a that you've never heard about uh against wrestler b you never heard about and you don't care that this person went that's friend of the show keith lee doing a moonsault we talked to him on the indie mayhem show that is a big dude to be doing a moonsault holy crap is that at your show amen actually that was at inspired for wrestling it's- he also did a hurricane run at one point oh jeez which- He's the yes. biggest uh, uh, luchador. Uh, uh, keep it, I should rephrase that. A standing Hurricane Rada. Like, ridiculous. Here. Um, and, and speaking of which, speaking of Inspire Pro Wrestling, you, we, you would find out, as I did on Around the Indies, that uh, Eamon got to hang out with Johnny Mundo of Lucha Underground, for instance. I did. <laughs> there you go. Johnny Mundo just showed up. Johnny Mundo's and, like, and, hey, guys, I heard there's wrestling here. I'm going to be fancy with my glasses and hang out with Eamon. Sort of. I said hi to him. We didn't. Hang. I don't know if we hung out. But, um, yeah, hey, you never know what you're gonna get out of indie wrestling. Hey, hey, man, hey man. Go, were you were you in the same building? Were you in the same building as Johnny Mundo? I was. I shook Johnny Mundo's hand at one point. And, 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 and at some point, did you guys sit in that in said building for an extended period of time? We we did sort. Of. You hung out with Johnny Mundo. Congratulations. Actually, go on your resume. IndieWrestling.us. Go over there. Subscribe. If you subscribe to the email newsletter, you'll get information about the updates to WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, more than just this show, as well as a free, 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 IWC wrestling, IWC wrestling show. Yes. I don't know. I don't know if he's doing a bit or if his internet dropped. Froze? I don't know. Froze? I, froze? Froze? I did freeze. I, I did freeze. But Let I go in. Freeze? Free. Free. Free? Free. Free. Just no go dollars. sign up. Free digital download from IWC International Pro uh, Wrestling Cartel, including AJ Styles, a lot of guys that have popped up all over TV. I can't remember who I was on the show anymore, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> go check it out. Indie Wrestling. Free Birds. Let, we'll be right back. We're going to have the big question. We're going to have Mayhem Mania. We're going to have a very decidedly different Mayhem Media coming up, apparently. And that it was a, a, a big, big as in a biggie, a biggie Mayhem Mania hosting. What's going to happen? I don't know. I'm kind of scared, to be quite honest, um, of what's going to happen here. But take a look. 
or look back at the 10 years of the Wrestling Mayhem show, hanging out with our friends looking for Group Pittsburgh up in uh, Brookline, uh, where we had our big party back in January. We'll be right back after this. I have two. It can either be Man on a Buffalo. Those videos were amazing. Or when LB started to debut the... Uh, I think it was the bacon song. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Check out that. So many more videos from the 10-year anniversary over at the YouTube channel or the Facebook for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Now it's time for the big question. And I believe, Mad Mike, you have a very uh, topical <laughs> big question for this week. Yeah, 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 I do. So we're gonna, this, this guy came up in uh, the natural... Mayhem that is the Patreon this the Patreon goal this week. By the way, if you are a Patreon, enjoy. <laughs> uh, we we kind of went off a little bit, but we, it, we talked politics. We, this- we talked politics. We we had a very upfront political <laughs> discussion. That is definitely one way of phrasing it. Uh, well, being that it's Super Tuesday, and we are dangerously close to having. A WWE Hall of Famer be a, be a candidate for president. Uh, this week's big question is, if you could replace Donald Trump with any other WWE Hall of Famer for a presidential nomination, who would that be? Any, any, anyone? Anyone have a take or something? I go. I'll go. I'll go. And this is right. and this is not Mayhem Mania. We're not within the realm of, of health and possibility, right? Correct. Any okay. WWE Hall of Famer. Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> oh, that'll go. Great. Oh fuck. Um, and I. Load the rocket fuel. I'm with it, right? Um, not that I mean. You're, are you? Are you with it? Are you with it? I. Are you sure you want to admit on this podcast that you're with it? I okay. Now I'm thinking about all the things he said over the years. I don't uh, know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, you remember? Yep, you remember like, this? You remember that time where he said praying don't make the gay go away? Resetting my choice. Resetting my <laughs> choice. Resetting just step, just stepping back. Oh, sorry, we'll cycle back. I got cycle one. back. Sir, cycle back. I want to have marker. Marker. Right. Uh, edit that one out. All right. Um, I'm going to say Arnold Schwarzenegger. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. No, Bobby was in the realm know, of the big question. He. Absolutely can't. Yes, we're like going John with that. Or can't. <laughs> can't, can't do it. <laughs> but yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger, because why the fuck not? All right, why not, I want Arnold? that. I want that. Eamon, Eamon, uh, as we discussed on Gold, you're at ground zero of Super Tuesday. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> you're a state that can vote in Super Tuesday? Okay, sure. I don't know these terms. I'm <laughs> I don't know. I, I listen to... Matt's programming, and I pick up stuff, okay? You fucking uninformed millennial. Yeah, well, what else is new? Uh, anyways, uh, Eamon, what, who would you pick? Oh. And, and I, tell me if this counts. Uh, I, I know you said, you said someone is dead, but so I can I thought I could go with the person that inducted somebody that is dead on his behalf, and that's uh, Lanny Poffo. Mm. I mean, he was the genius. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so you'd rather have Lanny Poffo over the Macho Man? I was either that. Well, I didn't know you if you could pick dead people. Oh, you can absolutely pick people that are dead. Uh, I was being honest. At this verse, at this place, a dead person might be a better choice. I was going to say, uh, but, but before I would pick Randy Savage, my other choice was a uh, Bushwhacker Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Look those problems away. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Okay. Um, well. So mainstream Matt has joined us, um, and I, I got to think he's got a thoughtful look on his face, and he's in the and he's in the the, the commander's chair there in the in the bunker in the mayhem bunker. Um, who who would you pick? Uh, I'm just trying to think about the most important quality for a presidential candidate, and it clearly the most important attribute uh, to be a successful candidate, you have to be able to cut one hell of a babyface promo. <laughs> so you have to be a great babyface promo. And I'm trying to think of someone uh, 
Wait, but is, Hogan is too is, racist. Is, is Trump? Um, <laughs> oh, he's not going to work anymore. I, but, I'm um, pretty sure that someone who's done a sex tape is not allowed. Can, can I? Can I ask? Oh, man, actually, actually, I think that's a re- <laughs> that's a requirement, right? Um, um, can we can we can we say that Trump has been cutting a heel promo this entire time? Then, yeah. I don't know. He gets pops. They pop. So. No, right. um, Matt, so everyone, Matt, oh, Matt oh, put oh, it perfectly. So in the, the American, to the American nations, the smart Matt is what you're saying. <laughs> We're all giant it's, smarts. It's kind of, yeah, it's like the hit the crowds are the raw after mania. They're too smart for their own good, and they are easily manipulated. <laughs> or, I don't know. <laughs> um, I told I told Mike earlier in the uh, chat room that. Um, Trump is basically uh, the Triple H of the uh, GOP race. He's just doing whatever he wants, and he's getting cheered <laughs> for it. So yeah, he he's, like, he's going over. So he's, he's bashing Rubio's head into the table, and the crowd's just saying, "One more time, one yeah, more it's time." Yeah, kind of what's happening. Little Marco, um, Roman just, Rubio. Um, all right, I'm gonna try to think. All right, I, I, all right, we. I, he does, all right, not your typical great babyface promo, but great promo. Um, Arn Anderson. Arn Anderson can cut one hell of a promo. I think he could keep the crowd fired up for a good 20 minutes. So I'll take Arn Anderson right. for president. He's the enforcer. He will keep us safe. The enforcer in chief. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Hmm. All right. Uh, Antonio Garza, also at the ground zero of Super Tuesday, <laughs> is with us. Um, I can't remember where I put you over here. There you are. There's the button for you. Uh, wh- who would you pick for for our Hall of Famer president? So, so we, I can choose uh, any entity that has been inducted, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Oh, I like how you said entity. entity. Can I choose the, the whole four horsemen as my presidents? Nice. They work together. <laughs> Um, I, I think that would be. I think that would have to be a cabinet, but you'd still have to pick one person as president. No, I, don't I don't want the cabinet. I don't want the cabinet. I want the first person. I don't like JVL. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Garza! Doug and Danny Basha, <laughs> <laughs> the secretaries of offense. <laughs> oh my God! I remember. Yeah, that is their goal. Cool. They were the secretaries of offense. You guys, let's can't be forget Jillian Hall. No, no, that was um. Uh, Jillian came after. What was her name? Yeah, Joy. Amy Weber. No, not Joy. Uh, yeah, Amy Weber. Amy, Amy Weber. Oh, and okay. then someone shit in her back. <laughs> His name might rhyme with Blandy Blorton. <laughs> Great rhymes. Nobody will know who that is at all. No one. So are, are we going with the horsemen still? Is that your final no, Gar- answer? Garza, you would have to pick a representative for president. A representative president by committee. Well, if it, cannot, if it cannot be all together, I'm going to go for someone else. Uh, I think the United States needs a mass uh, president, so I'm going to go with no mass for us. Nice. Okay, a little diversity. Okay. All okay. Right. Yeah, I like sure. it. Sure. Sure, that'd be a first, you know. We're, we're breaking right. we're breaking all the barriers, you know, uh first black president, first woman president, first lucha president. Got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's your base. I'm a you, huge fan of this. I mean, you you know your base at that point, right? I yeah. mean Wow, hey, can I come back around? Oh crap, I had it. I had it a moment ago. Oh, Roddy Piper would have been a great president. Mm-hmm. Forget hey, these. just when just when you think you have the answers, he changes the questions. Oh <laughs> god damn it! I, I I just thought of a better one, but uh, yeah, you guys forgetting the most presidential person in the whole thing. What's that, Bobby F. J. Town? Mr. Bobby? Bob Backlund. Oh, oh shit! Oh, that's a good one too. See, he's the Bobby. Most and he'll bring chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> you get a chicken wing, and you get a chicken wing. And then he grabs his opponent and says, shaking his hand in defeat, yep. he pulls him into the chicken. Chicken winging babies. <laughs> oh, my no, God. But when, uh, no, well, Bob Ackley as well was amazing. Uh, uh, when, when you brought that up, though, so, like, I immediately thought, uh, Bobby Heenan. Oh. Yeah. Bobby Heenan would honestly be a really big candidate. Yeah, he would. Because he's the most truthful person, even though he's an asshole. Got to be fair to play. (laughs) He was the one who saw Hogan for what he is all along. Mm -hmm. He'd be great at identifying threats to our country. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Wheels in the chat room says Tony Atlas. That would be be the first sleeveless president. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Although Tony Atlas seems a little bit too close to idiocracy for me. A little too close. Yeah. A little too close. <laughs> hmm. 
Mm. It was a terrible Tony Allen's laugh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, God. It could be from Abraham Washington, D.C. Oh, all right, that was bad. <laughs> oh, wait, we did, we, did we lose Sorg? <laughs> sorry, sorry, just interesting stuff. Coming up later. Plus, oh, plus my. Oh, oh. WWE Jeez, interest. Thanks, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're slinging you fucking gold over here. No, no, no. The end of my headphones became unplugged for a moment there, so oh, I kind of okay. lost you. I thought um, you were on WWE. But, um, okay, all right. Where are we at? <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were watching Biggie's Snapchat again. <laughs> He's actually touting the company. So, big now. question. Let us know who you would you would pick you you would uh, uh, pick for that. All right, let's go around to. I like how none of us said Jesse Ventura. The, old, yeah, the only real viable option choice. is he a uh, is he a uh, yeah he's in there okay mm. we said Bruno either could it be because he's he said what do he say if uh, if Bernie doesn't get the nod uh, yeah. he's running so we could have two former Hall of Famer or two Hall of Famers I tagged, <laughs> I tagged Jesse Ventura Hot uh, tag. dropping Ventura versus Hillary oh, oh my God. Man. No, he, Talk about mayhem mania. Three way <laughs> dance. Three way dance, dude. If it ends up, if it ends up Trump and Jesse against Hillary, we will have to dedicate a politics section of the show. We will. <laughs> we will absolutely have to, and we'll have to do it like wrestling. I, I was gonna say, how much money would it take, uh, or how much money would you bet on WWE redoing the uh, that really terrible Trump Rosie O'Donnell match that they did a long time ago? Oh, with Hillary Clinton? Yeah. Um. A thousand percent, and actual Jesse Ventura would be the referee. Yeah. What are What are the odds of Jesse Ventura calling Donald Trump McMahon? McMahon. Two hundred percent, Bobby. Two hundred percent. Guys, as if we need more mayhem, it's time for Mayhem Mania. The man <laughs> with the board, the man with the plan. Mainstream Matt is here. That's right, Sorg. We're here for Mayhem Mania on a. Super Tuesday. Um, this is uh, Mayhem Mania. I don't have a lot of time to run through the whole thing. It's kind of a competitive thought experiment. We try to create the best WrestleMania card possible. We're making WrestleMania great again. That's what we're doing. We're not gonna make. It's gonna be the best WrestleMania. It's gonna be the best WrestleMania. We're gonna win. We're gonna win every day. We're gonna win round one. We're gonna win round two. We're gonna win all the way through round six, seven, eight. Round eight is going down right now. It's going to be the best round eight. The best. We got the best panel. We got the best board. Got the biggest board right here. The biggest little board there is with all the matches on it. Um, I'm already wasting time. I feel bad. Mm-hmm. My, My board's up. bigger. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Your board's also oh. a chair. My, my board had to hold my ass. That means it's bigger. We're trying to make the best WrestleMania card possible within the bounds of reality. So everybody that we use comes in their current physical, emotional, contractual state. We're all going to make moves. Also, five of you are going to make some moves. And basically now, um, well, let's just get on with it because I have to introduce the star of Mayhem Mania round eight, Eamon Payton. Eamon, you're the star of Mayhem Mania this week. You're the star <laughs> This entire round revolves around you. I've got about a list of about 30 things for you to do this oh, week. Um, was other stuff. But for, I don't know where to begin. Okay, here's the deal. Um, I've got great news. I can't believe it. I didn't think it was going to happen, but we did actually graduate a match last week. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Finn Balor versus Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn graduated to the super card. It survived three rounds without being altered. Eamon. You Thanks made wheels. that match. You did this. I did that match. You made this match. Me. You Me. get a prize. You get two prizes. Um, first of all, <laughs> you get to create. Two prizes. Shh. Who's snickering? Does this sound funny? This isn't funny. I'm going to have you thrown out. Gentlemen, did I get out. two matches right? <laughs> <laughs> um, Eamon, we need to create a match because we're always supposed to have eight matches here on the, um, whatever the preliminary card. Um, do you want me to run through these matches real quick? And then you can decide what we're going to, what you're going to fill it up with. That's sure, a good let's do that. You think about what match you're going to create. I'll tell you guys what is left on this card that we're going to be messing with tonight. Um, the new day, all three members versus Enzo and big Cass and Mark Henry, Natalia versus Asuka, 
Mm. Apollo Crews versus Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Kalisto versus AJ Styles. The Ascension versus Golden Stardust versus Stephen Amell and Neville. Shane McMahon and Ronda Rousey versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. And Dean Ambrose versus Luke Harper in a suit. <laughs> I'm so happy uh, they came Eamon, back. <laughs> I want to point out, they're both in suits. They're both in separate suits. They're not together in the same suit. That's true. Eamon, we need Matching you to create a match, so we have eight matches here. Okay. Can you create a match for me, please? Oh, God. Um, I think I can. Try to use people you like. I'll explain later. You know what? You know, you know, no, 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 no. Actually, I, I'm going to do something different. Um, I'm actually not going to follow that advice. Um, I'm going to create a base. This is a, this is a base, so to speak. This is, okay. I have a feeling this match will be adjusted, but I want to give them a little, a little something that they can work with and give two guys a spot on the card that in pretty much any circumstance, none of us, I think, are going to put on the card one way or the other. Okay. On one side, we will have Kane. <laughs> because why not? Kane, good guy, hardworking guy. Amen, don't do this. I, you, I don't understand how you could predict what I'm about to do. I have a feeling. <laughs> on the other side, on the other side, we're gonna I'm gonna give this to NXT love. Uh Baron Corbin. Ah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you guys who, let's be honest, are any of you going to put on this card? I actually thought about yeah. putting Baron Corbin on there. <laughs> it's the true test of when you've made it as an NXT performer when we start considering putting you on mm -hmm. the main menu card. Which is a match. Know. Honestly, if you look at that, could be good. To be fair, could. Kane was already on this several times. Could be bad, but could be good. <laughs> could be bad. <laughs> I won't believe Kane can take the end of days until I see it with my own eyes. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, yeah, Eamon, this was this is kind of like your prize because if you uh, anyone who creates a match that lasts long enough to graduate to the next round gets to create a new match. But I was thinking that maybe that's not enough of a prize. That maybe you deserve something extra. Maybe card. everyone, anyone who creates a match that graduates deserves more than just creating a new match. So Eamon, I want to give you another prize. Um, oh, for that? creating a that? match that graduated. And and the best part about this prize is that you don't have to use it right now. You can use it if you want to, or you kind of like, you kind of hold on to it and you kind of like use it later. Um, it's like money in the bank, except ah, it's different. Um, it's like money in the bank. I, I tried to come up with the different, with a name for it, um, but I, I call it the eliminator. Okay. Uh -oh. and the gist of this is um, as long as anyone who's on this card is safe, but the, what the eliminator allows you to do is you get to pick a name, one name, not a tag team, one name, okay. and you can vanquish them from Mayhem Mania, never to return. You can basically wow. metaphorically send them to the molasses junction what? of Mayhem Mania. You can uh, send someone to no TNA. Escape. You can send someone to TNA. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so I okay. So you can't do it if they're on the card because that'll jack things up, but. If they're not on the card, you can use the Eliminator to eliminate someone, or you could hold on to it. And perhaps there's someone on here you secretly loathe, and you can wait for someone to move them off the card, and you could spring in at any moment. Okay, so and just snatch them down. So once a person says what their match is going to be, it's that uh, that's off the table for me to eliminate. Like if somebody makes a match with somebody, I can't say no. That person's going to be eliminated. And you no, you can't do that. I have to. Okay. Now, That's if someone now if someone has like like say you like I don't know for some reason say you like just can't stand Oscar. All right. That's really oh, oh, come on, Matt. Oscar. And, and, and Bobby's like, I'm getting rid of Oscar for El Torito, and Oscar goes off the card. And you're like, this is it, my chance. Then you could jump in and you could use the Eliminator and you can get rid of Oscar forever. Okay. Not forever, but just through Mayhem Media. So um, this is the way. I know a lot of you guys have strong feelings about certain people who end up on this card, people you don't think should count, people you don't think should be on here. So here's a chance for you guys. If you earn it, you will have the right to keep someone off the card 
if you don't think uh, they deserve to be in Mayhem Mania. So, Eamon, if you want to use it now, feel free. If you want to think about it, you can think about it. But this is a prize. It's a prize for me to you um, and to anyone else who's smart enough to create a match that graduates. Okay? Sounds good. All right. Good deal. Um, Now, thanks to the Alex Cars rule, Eamon, thanks to the Alex Cars rule, you are batting cleanup tonight. You're in the fifth position. And since uh, your move last week was uh, altered before the end of the last round, you get to hand out the punishment this week to one of the four other people who are playing with us this week. Those people being Sorgatron, Bobby, Garza, and Mad Mike. Eamon, I know you're dying to know what the punishment is for this yeah. week. Sorgatron, um, are you able to, to pop up that uh, thing that I sent? You want, you want to go ahead and do it now? Uh, is so it, we can all see it. Is this the big reveal? The thing there it is. There it is. There it is. I, I hope you guys could see it on the feed, right? Yeah, yeah, it'll come up. This is this is the wheel of NXT tag teams not named Enzo and Big Cass. Oh, <laughs> right. oh, there are man. six teams. Don't click it yet, Sorg. There are six teams on this wheel. Um, and they are <clears throat> uh, the Hype Bros, the Vod Villains, Blake and Murphy, uh, Datch and Dawson. Uh, who's that other one? Dang it, I'm forgetting. Jordan and Gable. Jordan and Gable, American Alpha. Oh. And uh, yes, because um, Enzo and Big Cass were used, and that was the sixth of the six tag teams in NXT, I had to find another tag team. Eva Marie and Nia Jax are the sixth tag team. <laughs> oh, uh, the tag teams not named wow. Enzo and Big Cass. I, I was wondering if I, you were going to do Emma and Dana. I love how random of a punishment this is. This would be the equivalent of somebody doing like a. Uh, we love members of the NWA invasion from 1998. <laughs> this is real, real good. That should um, be the next punishment. <laughs> Aaron, which one of these four bastards would you like to see have an NXT tag team forced upon them by virtue of the wheel of NXT tag teams not named Denzel and Big Cass? You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to somebody because I don't think they'll take it as a punishment. I think they'll take it as, one, a creative moment, because I think there's people on there that they like, obviously, and other people who, if they don't like them, they can do something creative with them. Um, so I'm going to give it to Bobby. Oh, God damn it, Eamon. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> I had a plan, Eamon, and you just screwed it up. I'm going to be honest right now. I would have totally been okay if Amy gave me this punishment. <laughs> I, I, that's fine. Bobby, I, 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 I gave it to you because I love you and I know how no, creative no, you are. No. <laughs> but no. Bobby, Bobby, you make it to book Eve Marie. No. Are you excited? Bobby, no. Hashtag Bobby, no. I, had, Super I had a plan. <laughs> I had a plan Hashtag going into this. Like the second spot. Now it's screwed up. All right. So we're okay. trying, are we going to be able to route the wheel of NXT tag teams through the hangout so we can no, see No, no, no. I'll have to tell you. I'll, I'll tell you what happens. Oh, Bob, Bobby, I'll, how about this? I, I have an idea for my pick that, that, that I think will appease you. I, just give, me, give it time. Give it time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. Um, okay. So um, this is great. Now all the house cleaning is done. Um, yeah. Sorry. It took so long. Oh, don't forget. the, 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 the you get, We have three... Um, options for when you're uh, making a change in Mayhem Mania. You can add someone, either a person or a tag team, one of the existing matches. You could swap one for one within the card, tag team for tag team, person for person, or you could trade the match out entirely and bring in an entirely new match with entirely new people. And I'll remind you, the one-time only use, the subtract option is still out there if you guys want to. Mm -hmm. One-time mm -hmm. only. Yes, it was, Amen. If you use it, it's done. But I want to see somebody use the subtract option at some point, so it's out there as yeah. an option for anybody. <laughs> Uh, so technically, there are four options. Um, the batting order is Sorgatron, you are going first. Bobby, you're on deck. Doesn't Sorgatron, matter. normally I kill time to give you a chance to... <laughs> Sorgatron, normally I kill time by running you over the card to give you time to think about what you're going to do, but I don't have time because I already did that. So, um, Sorgatron, what's it going to be? All right, I can't add a match or anything like that. All I can do is modify, right? 
Only modify. You can't only create a new match. You got to get a match. Oh, wait, you can, you can swap out on. Yeah, one swap match one match. You can create a match out. Create a match. Yeah. Oh, so I can kill a match. Again. I can kill and create. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can kill. So you create. can't use anyone from the match that you've killed in the match you create. Right. Kill and create is a lot more descriptive than trade. We're gonna have to change the verbiage on that. Kill and create. Kill and the the official, I'm gonna have to edit the official Mayhem Mania rules rulebook again. Uh, the like voluminous. I, kinda, I have like, kill and create is, Mania is, official rule. I have two Kill options. I have two oh, options. What that would end up turning things into four way dances, like because I, <laughs> I I can't I can't kill my babies, man. I can't kill my babies. Um, um kill your babies. Or can't kill my what babies. About your babies. Can't kill my babies. That's weird. That that's not do that anymore. Um, who is getting getting no love lately? Okay, we got Star Dress. We got our tr- no, no, not our truth. Not our truth. Although, R-Truth? although, I wonder what our truth would look like in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorg, Sorg, make it be his Confederate suit. <gasps> why don't you? Why don't you book little Jimmy? It'll be a lot easier on Garza. <laughs> All right. No one laughed at that. Come on. <laughs> no, Sorg, Sorg was still reacting from what I said. I get it. I get it. He's not there. Would it? How, would it be wrong? If it would be wrong if I called that. Um, it's a thing that happened. So, uh, mm-hmm. where are we in Dallas? So was, it is Super Tuesday. It is Super Tuesday. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 I can't do that. I can't do that, guys. Oh, can't, okay, I have a question. I have a question. Can I pick one of the penguins from Surf's Up Two? <laughs> no. <laughs> I Marvin was over this penguin. last week. The Ballard cartoons penguin. are not canon. You cannot book a cartoon penguin into Mayhem Mania. Can Vince McMahon is Miss, is Vince bringing in a cartoon penguin um, for WrestleMania? Matt, so, Matt, Vince, did, Vince once did book God. I would allow that. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, it's also easy, Antonio. Easy. As, a, as long as you get somebody in the giant penguin suit, like in the New Japan pre show with Doraemon. Oh, Doraemon. I almost bought his Funko Pop yesterday. Doraemon versus God. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> all right. I got it. I got it. I got it. First of all, as we established my new favorite wrestler earlier, Rusev, for those that, those that came late. Yeah. Um, yes. I think I need, I think we do need to liven things up over here. I, I am a fan of Luke Harper. But uh, I want to drop out, Luke, because my headphones just became unplugged again. So you, I have no idea what you guys are saying. Um, I, I, I think we're going to swap out Luke, Luke <laughs> Harper, and I want to see Dean Ambrose versus Rusev. In suit. In a suit. All right. But yeah. <laughs> Watching suits on your Which I think there's a picture of him in a suit. Actually, that thing yesterday had him in a suit. So Yeah, I was going to say, Rusev has been in suits a lot. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So, uh, Spiffy, Spiffy Russo. Oh, good. Just in time. Uh, the wife is here to see what you've done. Uh-oh. Well, oh, no. Well, it's okay. Who might be the King Corbin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Sorgatron. Bobby, you are up. Garza is on deck. Sorgatron, it is time to spin yeah, the way. wheel of NXT Tag Team. Not All right. Enzo and Big we're Cass. gonna spin the wheel, spin the big wheel. If I can find the right mouse, here we go, and we're spinning, 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 All spinning. Red, everything. Oh, All this red, is hurting my head. Red, this is hurting everything. my head a lot. Red, Holy crap! Oh, it's slowing. It's slowing. How long is this supposed to take? It's wheel still going. It's still dramatic. going. All fun. Dash and Dawson, learn. Blake and Murphy, Blake and Murphy, Blake and Murphy. Thanks, Eamon. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, you can also book Alexa Bliss with this. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Um, it's Blake and Murphy, not Team Banff. So I have to Why answer that into a match. Huh? No, you, yeah, you just got to yeah, Matt, if they're part of it, that should be allowed. He can book Blake versus Murphy. That's still using both of them. Oh, that's, that's a good true. idea. But I'm not going to do that. I know, but I'm, not <laughs> I'm just saying it could happen. So I have to use Blake and Murphy, correct? That's right. That's right. Okay. You could use Alexa with Blake and Murphy. You okay. Could add some. Yeah. You just uh, we're have to take, use Blake and Murphy. We're gonna. We're gonna. Uh, was that kill and create? Yeah, kill and create. 
Okay. It's Kill, and Kill and Create. Um, by the way, Kill and Create is a spell that Wade Barrett learned at Hogwarts. Abra <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kadabra. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take out the uh, Shane McMahon and Ronda Rousey. You and fucking and asshole. And we're gonna add Blake and Murphy versus. Chad Gable and Jason Jordan, American Alpha, versus oh. the Revival. What? That, that's, that, uh, that's, that's Dash and Dawson. That, that Dash and Dawson, that's their new name, by the way. Hmm. So that, that's what I did. Okay. Uh, <sighs> it kind of feels like a cheat, Bob. You kind of like used half the wheel in one match. That's yeah, I, was thinking, hey, I, I went full war with that punishment because I couldn't do the other thing I I think I think he took the wheel and spun it right in your face, Matt. Matt. I did. Kung Lao you know style. What? The wheel will have its revenge someday. Um, revenge all right, Garza, you're up, and Mad Mike is on deck. Um, I thought you definitely given us something to talk about on the uh, Talking Mayhem Mania after show, Bobby. So, <laughs> also hosted by Chris Hardwick. <laughs> also hosted by Chris Hardwick. All righty. Uh. Kill and replace, or whatever that name is. I'm going to kill the New Day versus Enzo and Cass and Henry. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, All funny. right. I'm going to replace it. There goes the peace treaty. Wait, that was yours, Mike? Uh-huh. No, I think it was mine. Uh-huh. Yeah, the, web, the website said it's, it's statements. Oh, well, well, yeah, I added Henry. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm going to replace it with this. Garza is all like, did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> so do this. Roman Reigns. God. Versus Jey Uso versus Jimmy Uso versus Nia Jax. <laughs> whoever <laughs> wins, whoever wins gets to be the only one to brag about being the Rock's cousin. <laughs> oh, man. A Rock's cousin match. <laughs> Uh, we guys, have it? you realize we're supposed to be making this show better, right? I, I love that we've just better? lost all like, greater. I, I love that we've just lost all fucks to give. We, uh, <laughs> guys are just make WrestleMania. I don't know, know who I hate more. Great again. I don't know who I hate more, Bobby or Garza. Yeah, hey, I was because chosen they both for... just they both just torpedoed the only shit I had on the board. I was chosen to, to perform a task. <laughs> that was the match that I chose. All right, hey. In it. All right. You know what? I uh, was going to. Wait, wait, hold on, Mike. Hold on, Mike. Uh, Amen. Amen. How, how are you feeling about that eliminator right now? That's yeah. fine. Feeling it? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Do you got anybody in mind? You got any thoughts in your head right now? No, yeah. no, I'm good. I'm good. All right, you sit on it. It's good. It's good for no expiration date. All right. Um, I'll, 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 I'll let you bring it back next year. I don't care. Uh, Mad Mike, you're <laughs> up. Amen, you're on deck. All right, fine. Fuck it. Guys, fuck it. Hey, Bobby, you know that Natty vs. Haskin match you wanted? Bobby? That's mine. That's that was mine. mine. That's mine. <laughs> Good. Fuck both y'all. That match is gone. Kill and destroy. And guess what? Enzo and Cass versus... Destroy, that is redundant. Enzo and Cass versus Shane McMahon and Ronda Rousey. Boom! That's actually pretty good. That's actually Boom! much better than the New Day. That's I actually support that Ronda's decision. Gonna kill Enzo. Mike, I support that decision. That's better than the music. So technically, that wasn't my the, intent, but thank you. Technically, <laughs> would I get to take the punishment for next week? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to be on next week, so fuck you. <laughs> I kind of like. I kind of like whenever you, everyone gets upset because I, I feel like it lends some insight into what happens when Vince McMahon gets upset. <laughs> well, God damn, we're gonna, I'm gonna oh, kill God it. it! I'm gonna <laughs> kill it with a lethal dose of poison. How you're wrestling Ronda Rousey? And Powell. technically, Bobby, you don't get the punishment because that wasn't your said, match from this week. No, that wasn't your match from this week. So tell me, no, no punishment yet. All right, Eamon, you're up. Oh, uh, okay, stay with me here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, there, there's nothing you could do at this point. That, because yeah, I feel, I feel no, I, no, because now I feel bad. Because you have to I make thought, this up to me. I, yeah, I gave Bobby something I, I didn't think he wanted. So you know what? I'm going to make it up to him. Well, look how much fun he had with it, though. And, and guess what, guys? I am going to change 
my own match that I just added. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So he doesn't get to well, come back, right? Well, we figured it out. Amy's a masochist. <laughs> yes, yes, Bobby. Eamon is into self punishment. <laughs> Ladies, hey, come on. Are you, are you also oh, excited for Pokemon you, SM? I, I, you, you know what? We should have figured it out at the beginning of the round when you said I'm building a base. I should have known you were going to come back and change your own goddamn match. All right, good job, buddy. So, so I get to come back. I get to come back last night. Last night. Yes, exactly. Get, it's genius. More prizes. Yep, more prizes. Yep, <laughs> you're genius. You. You are playing chess. They're playing checkers. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the equivalent of asking a genie for more wishes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish for more wishes. <laughs> genie just explodes. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, this is, all, this is all for you, okay? Okay. Uh, I want you to take out Kane. Okay. <laughs> so take out Kane. Stupid. You got it, boss. And add in his place... Major Raleigh. Major Raleigh. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> hey, man. Shut up. Punishment. And, and we're going to finally discover. We're going to finally discover. Oh, eat that Aaron food, Corbin man. is going to eat that food. <laughs> yeah, eat that food. <laughs> All right. You're forgetting. Wait. Wait. Oh, can we good. make this? Can we make? Oh, no. Stipulation from another time. I was going to no, say. We'll can later. can we make later. this a gravy bowl match? No, it's going to be that pizza eating contest that Matt Hardy and MVP had that one time. <laughs> Chipotle on a it's going to be the redneck triathlon between Barry and Corbin. <laughs> oh, Chipotle. Last man standing match. Fuck you by Chipotle. <laughs> Garza, can we get a little Chipotle logo on this one? I'll, I'll try. Support. All right. Good deal. <laughs> can we get some E. coli on this one? E. coli on the <laughs> <wall. laughs> E. coli on a E. coli in a bowl on a pole. Um, <laughs> Held by Judy Bagwell. So wait, I have a question. What? Does this mean Eamon gets to administer this punishment again? Yes. Yeah, he does. Yes. Yes. Eamon is so much better at this game I than broke anyone else. The system. Eamon. <laughs> Hack the planet. <laughs> Eamon is on a genius level. Of playing, he's, he's like the Kasparov of Mayhem Mania. He's, he's, he's the cerebral Watson. You guys are not even. He's Watson. He's deep blue. He's <laughs> amazing. Absolutely. So here's the. Uh, yes, Eamon, you will be back next week. I won't, but you. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's take a look at what we got here, Sorgatron. We. This is not working. <laughs> it's got Mojo Raleigh versus Baron Corbin. We have Roman Reigns versus Jimmy Uso versus Jay Uso versus Nia Jax. We have <laughs> Enzo and Big Cass versus Shane McMahon and Ronda Rousey. Uh, we have Apollo Crews versus Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt. We have Shinsuke Nakamura versus Kalisto versus AJ Styles. We got the Ascension versus Golden Stardust versus Stephen Amell and Ian Neville. We've got Blake and Murphy versus American Alpha versus The Revival. We have four triple threat matches on that show. <laughs> and, and yet the subtract option goes untouched. And I was hey, going hey. to use it until Bobby and Garza fucked with me. <laughs> I was going to use it too, but then Eamon oh, messed me up. Oh, you were going to use it. I was. Dean Ambrose versus Rusev. In the perfect WrestleMania games. card. Yeah. <laughs> I I like where this is heading. Yeah, oh, this is like looking it. great. This was our Super great. Tuesday. <laughs> Super Tuesday. Super no, Tuesday. I want to thank you guys for not adding more uh, people to that cartoon. Um, yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that too. <laughs> it's getting like, hard. Well, I'm not going to do that because he's going to have to find some NXT cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> I, we, I, um, I, wanted... I was actually going to make that one easier for you, Garza, but then you had to fuck me over. So I, I, I wanted I wanted to add Dudley Boys to that one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Dudley Boys animation. But then Sorry, I'm like, you should have done it. And I'm like, I can't, I can't do that to the man. I mean, he's, he's worked so hard. Luke, Luke you absolutely I mean, should have I mean, Luke Harper too. in a suit, man. I mean, I mean, I, I, I can't ask for more at this point. <laughs> and I could not ask for more. Yeah. All Good job, right. team. That's, you that's your F this up. Mayhem Media. Let's find out what you learned from wrestling this week and get out of here. Uh, Eamon, what'd you learn? Uh, I learned that I don't got to watch Raw every week. 
<laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't watch Raw this week, and I feel like I did not miss anything. All right, all right. That's that's fair enough. That's fair enough. What about you, uh, uh, Matt? Me? I learned that um, when you fall asleep during an American Alpha match, it's not your fault. It's American Alpha's fault. Oh. What? What? Who did that? <laughs> I did. What? I explained yeah. the Bobby, 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 the American Alpha match on uh, NXT this past week, and when I woke up, I said, "Chad Cable did not do enough arm drags." Did you dream Jason of them? Jordan did not show enough baby <laughs> face fire. Is that combat. how you came up with the wheel? <laughs> no, I had a, I had a vision that was given to me by the by the the Ultimate Warrior came down in my dreams and. He told me, uh, build a wheel. If you Again, build it, still don't know if that's the best role model for your vision. If you build it, they will spin. <laughs> uh, what about you, Mad Mike? Or I'm sorry, Garza. Uh, Antonio Garza. WrestlingRoboson.com. Uh, I learned that the best way to build Roman Reigns is to build Dan Ambrose instead. <laughs> wow. Um, also, now, Mad Mike, what'd you learn? I learned that DJ Tanner's children are fans of Lucha Underground. <laughs> yeah, I watched the first episode actually earlier today. Uh, Sorg, there, there is, there is a. Um, for those of you who don't want to watch Fuller House, and God damn it, I don't blame you. Um, there, there is a Lucha wrestling episode where one of the Lucha wrestlers is named King Haguarito, and it is very much a bootleg version of Prince Muma. Ruin through. <laughs> and also, those Poyos Locos are on it. Legitimately. Hmm. Hmm. What about you, Bobby of G-Town? I learned that with Flo Rida's song, um, In My House, uh, WrestleMania does look like an In Your House pay-per-view. Just with his logo next to the WrestleMania logo, it looks like an In Your House pay-per-view. Um, from How about you, Sorg? What did you learn this oh, week? Oh, from me? For me? Um, what, what I learned, I learned, um, it's going to take a while for me to get John Cena as the Hulk in uh, Avengers Academy. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, boy, it's going to take a while. Uh, uh, and also, damn you, WWE Network, for always playing the John Cena thing whenever it turns. <laughs> um, You're I'll, not supposed to see that. There was something, I was watching WrestleMania 9. Oh, there, I had I, I had a revelation, and I can't remember what it was. Um, sure, you were watching WrestleMania last nine last night too. Uh, actually, it was Saturday because I was sick of seeing oh, okay. the John Cena one pop up whenever I go to the stream. So I was just going through the schedule, and I saw they were playing WrestleMania nine a lot of times on Sunday. So I just went ahead and hit watch now while I was working around the house. So, uh, yeah, I hacked the WWE Network. So, um, also collections. I, I did you guys see the list of collections that came out today? I need to watch the uh, Shane McMahon collection. There's a Shane McMahon. There's the Four Horsewoman of NXT. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one was good. <laughs> there's, there's a there's a Canadian wrestler one. There's a there's like a, 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 a international matches one or something. Um, the international House of Pancake one. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, there's a lot of stuff. That, that was uh, it's really cool. And thank you for collecting that for us. W thank you, WWE Network. <laughs> hey, sword. <laughs> Sorg, thank you're welcome. There, there you go. There you go. Uh, from you're the welcome. Facebook, uh, Rob learned that it's important to make sure that the new turnbuckle is fastened tightly. Uh, and, and related to that, uh, Jay Mesco on the Twitters uh, says that the top rope is no match for Wardlow. Yes. Uh, Planet Bulk, including Andrew Palace on the team, um, took on uh, uh, the sexy talented dudes, STDs. Um, go see Indie Mayhem Show 100. Um, and you'll know more than I did about that night. But uh, the, the, they were the other team. So Wardlow comes out, and he's kind of their enforcer. He he does, you know, jumps up on the apron and grabs the top rope and promptly falls because he's too strong, and the top rope ripped out of the turnbuckle. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Um, but, yeah, uh, so that was that was fun. Um, also, uh, from the Facebooks, Matt learned, Matthew Taylor learned that two and a half hours – a filler per three-hour show is totes fine. <laughs> uh, Rob also started watching Raw DVR, but no, that's not why I need to watch something else. Um, so there you go. Thank you so much. Um, chat room? Chat room? Anybody left in the chat room? I think it's all you guys at this point. The wheels is in there still. Um, but uh, guys, it's been fun. It's been I've, 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 had, I've had a blast here on the Wrestling Mayhem show tonight. 
We've laughed together. Some of us cried together. Uh, Bobby FJ Town at Bobby FJ Town on the Twitters at Amen Two Please. He's the voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling. InspireProWrestling dot com. Mad Mike is at Mad Mike Four Eight Eight Three. He does the uh, midweek wars on the uh, YouTube channel, and also look for the midweek war on uh, uh, YouTube. You iTunes, excuse me. Uh, Amon's on there as well, and uh, and uh, a rotating cast depending on who's watched what show. Mainstream Matt on the Twitters, one T, one T. Uh, he's also uh, writing, putting together the Mayhem meetings and columns over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com and around the Indies at IndieWrestling.us. Antonio Garza, the WrestlingRevolution.com, the prime, uh, the prime uh, uh, Patreoner. I'm at Sorgatron. Thank you, everybody. Everybody in there. No okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Check out everything WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe to everything live at WrestlingMayhemShow.com uh, every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And, uh, and, and we'll see you guys next week. Hey, come out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. You guys are cool. Hey guys, Zorgatron, Mad Mike, everyone there at the Mayhem Show. Um, my name is Daniel Tyree, and I just know, and I listened to your uh, last episode on Mayhem Mania, Mayhem Mania, and uh, Matt Carlin made a good point possibly of seeing John Cena make a return to WWE at WrestleMania. Because I I do believe this about I'm giving a I'm not I'm not seeing the Shaman Man undertake the Undertaker match at Hell in a Cell. Vince McMahon appointed the Undertaker for that match. I would like to see Shane McMahon Point somebody for that match at WrestleMania inside Hell in a Cell. And my best guess would be John Cena. Give or take, if he doesn't make it, that's fine. But I'd rather see someone other than Shane McMahon wrestle The Undertaker. So maybe that's a good, maybe that's a good, maybe that's an idea, possibly a storyline or an angle to use. But I don't see Shane Man and Undertaker in the, in the same ring together, especially inside Hell in a Cell. So, what you guys think? I don't know, but I like to see uh, see your feedback on that on on an episode pretty soon, or um, but I like to hear your feedback on that. All right. Hope you guys have a good day and have and uh, enjoy yourselves. Bye.